Hello there my fellow Hollow Table Heroes and welcome to another Galactic Challenge video. It's time we take a break from the daily grind of Conquest and take care of a brand new challenge CG prepared for us. And it looks like they're being very very considerate this time because they know we got our hands full with Conquest. So they've given us what's probably one of the easiest challenges we've had in a while uh, which can only mean the next one will be more challenging i think it has to do something with ewoks next challenge so an easy one or probably more difficult next one uh, very quick very easy you can get all, all the feats done you know even with your home one fleet on full auto so hopefully you will not have issues but as always i'll first go through the modifiers and the feats and then show you one battle to rule them all and then we'll get back to doing conquest stuff. Uh, Alright, so the global uh, modifier for Jakku is the last stand. So whenever she's protection reaches 0%, they gain retribution for one turn. And then whenever they fall below 50% health, they gain defense up. And when they fall below 25% health, they also gain damage immunity. Now damage immunity can be dispelled, so it's not really that much of a problem for rebels because uh, Falcon's basic will be dispelling that. No issues whatsoever. Then we also have front deflector screen. So the start of each tank's turn to gain potency up. <laughs> That's a bit random, isn't it? And then whenever a tank is critically hit, they gain protection up. So a little bit extra durability for the tanks. But again, we can dispel those protection up with Falcon quite easy. And then we've got uh, the rebel modifier, the odds for the ships. So whenever we score a critical hit, we have a chance to attack again and again and again, right? And also we can't be countered. Uh, so all the retribution they're getting uh, from the modifier, uh, they won't be able to counterattack. So definitely um, modifiers are in our favor today. And in terms of the modifier for the enemy, whenever first order allies cause a critical hit, they get protection up, so more protection up. Hunted enemies deal 50% less damage. So this is really the only RNG piece, I guess, in beginning. Like if they put a hunted on a falcon, you probably want to back out and try it again. Because you really need falcon to be doing falcon things and hunted will shut it down. In terms of the feats, pretty straightforward as well. Win while using five rebel ships. And then we have to bring balance, win with at least one light side and one dark side unit surviving. And finally, uh, complete the battle after gaining taunt three times. So no evasion feed, nothing too crazy here. Um, however, you will notice there is a Houndstooth. Um, since when is Houndstooth first order? I don't know. It's a bit, it's a bit fun, isn't it? But anyways, hopefully we can deal with this. So you can see uh, the rebels fleet that I put together here. Uh, like, was it my uh, Akbar is gear nine? Some of the other pilots not relicked up. So you don't even need a full fleshed home one fleet for this to work. Eventually, you just burn through these guys in uh, no time. And I'm bringing in Houndstooth, obviously, for bring balance. So we come in the battle. Uh, they get a few opening plays, I guess. And right now, we're just gonna go ahead. Hit full auto and see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and remove the target just so AI can a little bit go around uh, and target whoever it wants. Just putting up the footage because this will take, a, I think, a few minutes to burn for these guys. They don't hit very hard, but they're very durable. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, so they put a hunted over on uh, wiring. I guess it's the ideal scenario, uh, but as long as they don't get it on Falcon, like even if they would put it on Outrider, I would still continue. I don't think. You know, I'll try that is really all that important. It's just the Falcon really is the engine. Uh, what AI brought? Okay, they brought in my low gear bigs. Uh, let's see. If, ooh, yeah, low gear bigs not not gonna last long, looks like. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, looks like also not their abilities are maxed out because we were able to dispel the taunt on hounds stuff quite easily, even when I had a breach on one of my guys. So definitely an easy challenge today. Anyway, making good progress. Houndstooth is down. Uh, the brought in Sanfak. Yeah, his first order as well. Am I right? <laughs> a bit of a funny challenge today, but anyway, at least we can autoplay it and then get back to doing a uh, conquest so we don't waste our time too much with an RNG fest of a challenge. And oh, finally bringing in a first order ship. Huh. Who would guess, right? Okay. Oh, look, Biggs is still hanging in there. Ah, uh, there we go. Down he goes. Okay, bringing in Houndstooth now. 
All right, now Hansu has to survive, remember, for bring balance, but hopefully he should be able to. There we go, we got Silencer down, Ultimate unleashed, and now we just need to finish off First Order, Thai Pilot, and we should be good to go here. Uh, somebody dispel. <laughs> I love the AI when you get the ultimate and while, uh, Falcon just they, it just usually does back to back wiggles, right? <laughs> Instead of doing ahead. So we go. We use rebel ships. Um, we gained the taunt a bunch of times and we brought balance to the force, which now allowed us to get max rewards on autoplay quick and easy. Uh, no need to deal with RNG or anything like that. Or right, guys, so hopefully this video was useful and helpful. Just showing you how easy today's challenge is. Obviously, if you do have profundity, go ahead and use it. I just wanted to show you that, you know, even with a low gear uh, home one, you can still get uh, some plays going here. All right, so, so thank you for watching. I'll see you a bit later on uh, in my Sector 5 guides for Conquest. But until then, have fun, enjoy your life, and may the RNG be with you, my friends.